welcome back to Origin Flowers. My biggest challenge this year was to make sure that I had enough flowers left for my final wedding at the end of October. It's now the end of October, so did I make it? Well, take a look at this. How stunning does this look? We still have dahlias. It's been so mild this year. It's actually still quite like warm at the minute, wet, but still quite warm. And this looks beautiful. There's still so many colors and everything. And this morning, this is Saturday afternoon. This morning we actually had loads of people here doing pick your own and they've taken loads and loads of dahlias and there's still loads left. So it's great. The weather has just really been on our side. Like that's actually one of the things about flower farming is that you can't predict the weather. So you could have a year where it's been really mild. We haven't had any frost yet, but I do remember last year, we definitely had a frost this year. So that's why at the start of the year, when I knew I had a wedding at the end of October, I was kind of like ready with the fleece, thinking I'll be ready to go if it's needed because I was so desperate that we would have the gorgeous dahlias for the wedding because we grow our flowers here for weddings, but it just makes it extra special. And um, whenever you're putting arrangements together, it's just when you have things that are like this, all the different colors and the shapes, just extra special. And we love doing that. Love working with, with nature and making sure that our wedding flowers are sustainable and no chemicals and everything. So it does feel like sometimes a bit of a pressure when you know that you have certain colors that you have to have and that you have certain flowers that maybe uh, like a bride might want. But this year we actually did it and I'm really, really pleased and the wedding was so beautiful. Um, one of the things that I was so concerned about was the frost, but it's still here. There has been a few um, damaged stems with wind. Some of the delays are going brown at the back because it's been really, really wet. We haven't had to water once outside this whole year. Unbelievable, it's been a very, very wet year, but it's worked nicely. So happy days, we actually, because everybody was taking them this morning, because we're actually going to be bringing, digging them all out quite soon, I will do a YouTube video just to show you the process that we do in taking out all the dahlias, because we do that every year. It's a mammoth task when you look around and see how many plants that we have to do. But it'll be worth it, because we'll, be, we'll split them and we'll get loads and loads more plants. So that will be really, really good. We're also doing another project with some of them just in the next couple of weeks. So tune back in for that as well but it'd be really exciting to just show different creative ways of using the seed heads or the flower heads because some of them don't actually have very long stems and everything now so I just love to use everything because why not have a look just so beautiful and there are still some other things growing as well so I'll show you some of that now have some cosmos in flower. This is a second planting, first plant, we've had a few plantings and this is the final one that's still here. We have loads of buds still to come out so we'll be getting tons more cosmos over the while but we'll basically just look at and enjoy because we don't have any more weddings but it's nice just to have flowers still and see how long we can keep things growing. We've got scabiosa, the really dark ones still coming out. I just love it, it's one of my favourite flowers because of the colour, just looks so spectacular. Our squirrel tail grass has been such, has been going for so long now. It's really coming to the end. I will harvest this for the workshops, the wreath workshops. Um, it has got a bit battered with the wind, but the, the cats really love lying in there. You maybe saw my last vlog, so, you know, we'll keep that there too. Look at these delphiniums. They're so stately. I love delphiniums. They're one of my favorite flowers. We have the dark purple. We have the light blue. I've cut quite a few of these as well. So there's not just as many stems, but they'll come back next year as well. So winner, love them. And look, more statuesque flowers. The verbena, look at the color on this here too. It's just so gorgeous. I love it. And that has been in flower for forever too. Um, we'll cut it back and it will go next year. Tons and tons of calendula. I love this because of the colour. Um, we will use these probably um, in cooking and things like that, just for because they're obviously edible. They just look really, really cute, nice, vibrant colour. They self seed, so that bed will be full of that next year as well. Out in the flower field, 
things are starting to come to an end now. I've got big plans for next year, can't wait. I've just learned a lot this year, what I'm going to change and everything, but we still, all that ame is still in bloom, can still cut from that. I love using it actually as well. Um, dried, as you maybe saw on my, the video that I did with my dried flowers, it was one of my favorites. Um, I'll be using it at Christmas. Also the amaranthus, still tons of amaranthus and the dark red, how gorgeous is that going to be? And the wreaths, we have some green out there as well. Obviously the zinnias are completely gone. The outside cosmos is gone. We still have roses out there, which are lovely. And we still have our tobacco plant down there. And a few other wee bits and pieces like our snapdragon stuff are still, are still coming out. So although I'm like now, um, try to get everything put to bed really kind of in a bit of a time pressure of making sure everything's done before the wreath workshop so have like this three week period of getting everything done because I don't really want to be out here trying to pull out plants when it gets like really really cold and wet and frosty and the ground starts to freeze so I just love to have everything done complete finished before the wreath workshop start so one more thing actually I've just remembered the poly tunnel there are still a few things in there. Poly tunnels are very different, obviously, because they're sheltered. Um, so although it's kind of like a balancing act between things needing to come out to get the spring bulbs planted in, but I still have some things going in there. So go have a look at that now. Yeah, so it's really lovely being in the poly tunnel because it's actually so lovely and warm. Um, but look, there's still lovely things growing in here. Look at the size of these. How beautiful is that? Stunning, absolutely stunning. And we have ame drying in here as well. I did a, another planting of ame, so we have some more down there. This here bed is actually all self-seeded. I didn't plant any of this here. Uh, well, I did last year, but then I just left it and it all self-seeded and look, gorgeous. And how nice of a color is this for like even just for ourselves, just over the next wee while. Beautiful, love, love, love a kind of a bluey purple flower, quite unusual. We still have all our dill, flora still that we would grow. It's just beautiful filler flower. Look at it, absolutely stunning, the height of it. Um, look really nice in arrangement. So there's like still quite a lot of things that we can pick just for some bouquets. Um, even though we can still get all the other work done, like all the, the delays out and all like that. But you see in here we have beds. These are our full of their tulips that you saw me plant in the other day. Our sunflowers are still going strong. I don't have the heart to pull them out, even though, you know, I don't really think I have a massive amount of use for them over the next while. and. I need them, oh, they will be coming out because I suppose the ranunculus will need to go in there, but it's all like a balancing act. But yeah, if you have a polytunnel, it is just lovely because everything gets sheltered from the wind. So you're not panicking about things blowing over and things like that. Um, obviously you need to give it a lot more water, which is the only downside. But apart from that, I just love the polytunnels. So yeah, really pleased with how we've done this year. The weather has kind of been on our side. I know it's not the same in every climate, a lot of people, um, in England and all I really have really struggled with the heat this year but we've had actually quite a wet wet, wet year it's been kind of good and very mild so yes yeah, it's been good every year is unpredictable who knows what next year will be like you just have to as a flower farmer go with it and be prepared and see what like steps you can do so like maybe water butts if you're in an area that you might have a drought and um, get the fleece out if you think there's going to be frost and just always being prepared and and thinking that you know maybe there's alternative options if this flower's not going to work maybe i can use this one and and just being prepared so yeah it can be quite stressful if you're trying to like have something ready for a wedding but i just think when you're working with nature you just got to go with it so yeah i just love it it's really great so over the next few weeks i'm going to be showing you a lot of tasks that we will be doing over the farm getting everything put to bed quite a mammoth task but it's an enjoyable task at the same time so i'll be showing you the ranunculus and the delays coming out and getting the annuals all taken out as well so don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified whenever we do hit um or when we do put out a new video and even like leave me a comment or something because it's nice just to hear what you think and if you're going anything or maybe you've done some delays or maybe you've had like hard frost or maybe the weather just wasn't kind to you but it's really nice just to hear even if you're in like a really different climate or something than us so yeah i'll see you next time